Well, welcome to Thursday. Didn't get anything done yesterday on the building itself. It was just way too windy. The wind was just nasty, nasty. But on Tuesday, after the last shot that I showed you, I did go ahead and get the new rafters tacked down on that side. So at this point now, I'm ready to, I'm gonna just go ahead and remove all of those old rafters, get this end of these babies set. Looks like I got a couple off fall boards there I need to, to move out of the way. And uh, just as I put a, put bridges, four foot bridges at every four foot over there, I'm gonna do the same thing here. And then, hopefully, before this evening, hopefully then we got some panels back, back up here, some sheeting panels, and uh, at least rough close this in, and uh, definitely want to have uh, felt paper and drip edge and everything like that on it here before I go back to work on Monday, and that should be doable, and then once I get that done, then we're going to shift to a different different project unless I get the shingles if I if I can get the shingles on between now and then we're gonna be okay but uh, we'll see what we can do the shingles really won't take long we'll just see what we can do here we'll just get done what we can get done as we can get done and uh, go from there okay got all the old rafters off Let's just do a comparison. I don't like two by four rafters. However, those that were on there were on four, or were on two foot centers. And so you had one, two, three, four, and then you had the wall. You had two walls and four in between making five gaps. As it is, as it's gonna be now, you're gonna have seven one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in that same space. And when I get it bridged all the way across that way, that should be a, a much more solid roof. Probably even more solid than what the original roof was when it was new. So, looking good. Well, I'm just about to wrap it up here Thursday evening. I've got all the rafters set and in the morning I'll get this other this bottom tier of uh, bridging put in and then I should start throwing should start throwing sheeting at it at that point I was hoping to be that far along here I was actually hoping to have the sheeting on here this evening but I ran into a couple of equipment issues today and so I've been banging my head a lot, but as you can tell here, the shadows are getting longer. And uh, this is what the sunsets look like from back here. So, as far as the corn crib today, I think I'm done. I'm tired. I'm wore out. I do have. I don't know if you can see them or not, but I do have the marks laid out as to where that bridging goes. So, it really shouldn't take me more than about, oh, probably as slow as it goes, probably a little over an hour in the morning to get the bridging up. And then I'm gonna need nine sheets of, uh, nine sheets of uh, OSB. And I've got 10, so I should be okay. Fun. And then comes the roofing part of it. And that'll be a good one, too. Well, again, Thursday's over. It's been a good day, rather slow. But we're making it. Had great weather. Just, like I said, had a couple equipment issues that I had to remedy. And uh, hopefully tomorrow goes better. You have a good evening. Take care.